I'm Skyrim Bear, and welcome back to more The Novelist. Yeah. I don't know why I have this kind of voice, but I do. <laughs> Thank you, Skyrim Bear, for that intro. Hello, I'm Darker of 80, and welcome back to The Novelist. I don't know why Skyrim Bear put on that weird voice, but um, he doesn't normally speak, you see. So I don't really know what his voice does sound like, but um, yes, welcome back. In the last video, we done stuff, so watch it if you haven't done so already. And now we are going to the bot tool. The bottle. I'll save them for the bottom. Um, <laughs> Linda and Tommy were getting worried about Dan. Oh, there's no need to worry. Everything's fine. Ooh. Oh, it's broken. We need to fix it. Assembly time. Approximately three hours. Required tools. Phillips screwdriver. Soft space hammer. Uh, half an inch wrench. Socket re recommended. Seven and the hex key. Yeah. Okay. We so need to fix this. We so need to. Oh, that, that, that's going to be one of the options, and I'm so going to have to choose it because I'm like, that's awesome. Oop, hi Tommy, don't mind me when I walk around, I want to see what's, 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 for, for, what's for food this week. This week, beef stroganoff, buttered noodles and carrots, that was also last week, they obviously liked that, but they had the buttered noodles and carrots or something else, I swear they did. Anne's crock pot Italian chicken of pepper, shrimp scampi with spaghetti of salad and a bottle of white, white wine, that sounds awful. A lentil soup again. All right, stir fry, steak of broccoli with rice again, roast chicken with new potatoes, tomato and cucumber salad, spaghetti and meatballs. They have so much of the same stuff, but it's fine. The only thing that's different that time is the crock pot and the scampi, which is awful. <laughs> uh, trash bags, aspirin, salad dressing, beer case, popcorn, oh, 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 Og Ogburn? Ogburn? What's that? Bread? Ogburn? Oh, last last time I had to look up what uh, uh, Zitty was. So I'm, I'm now going to have to look up what Ogburn is. Where did I put my phone this time? I know who Ogburn is. I don't need to know who William Ogburn is. I know who William Ogburn is. I want to know what the food is. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. It's good. Give me just, it's just, just telling me about William Ogburn. <laughs> That's not what I want to know. This was Ogburn, right? Yeah. No idea. Okay. <laughs> Hi there, what are you thinking? Hi. No one around Hi, here, Mom. why can't I go camp? <laughs> already, already, already trying to work out sexuality. He's going camp. Uh, doesn't even think about it. My man. What's up? Maybe you shouldn't send the, that letter. Okay. Probably going to be seen here. Oh, that is a lovely, lovely sky and and water. I'd love to have this type of view. Okay, upstairs. I'm guessing. Maybe it sounds like it's coming from my from my right ear. Oh, that's a bit odd. <laughs> I've got my earphones around the right way. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Have you got like a bad back or something? Maybe. The ad ran today. Picked up the latest issue in town. I don't know if it'll amount to anything sales-wise, but that's not the point. I'd forgotten how scary it was to put your work out there and promise something to people. And that brought it all into focus. It's so different thinking about the book as something I eventually have to sell people, not just something I'm working on for myself. But now it's out there. It's terrifying and irreversible. People know about the book, and to them it's exactly what they want it to be. Some finished, beautiful thing. If only they could see it right now. A bunch of jigsaw pieces on the floor. And I've got to put them all together. Ah, uh, you'll be able to do it. It's fine. It's fine. Isn't that what everyone... I just don't know. Is, is everyone's book started off as? I mean, I'm sure, like, aren't they? Most 
successful authors like J.K. Rowling and stuff was 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 that their 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 books was like all over the place. Their ideas was all over the place. weren't really sure where to get where where it was going and stuff. Right? Where's this? Oh, you just here, huh? The, the the sound is all all over the place. Maybe it's just my ear. Maybe Why it's just don't my you ears. Right, you stop it too. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah. What are you drinking there? What are you drinking there? It's like a really weird bottle. I have no idea what that is. Is, is, is that meant to be some sort of alcohol? I don't know. <laughs> it looks weird. Just got back from the co-op. Tuesdays are pretty much my favorite day of the week now. Today, Monica showed me some brush techniques for blending my tones more evenly. She really is amazing. I can't believe how much she can get done in a week. I'm not sure I could keep up that pace even if I could do nothing but paint every day. Going in is always a little bittersweet though. I can't help but think about how great it would be to go two or maybe even three days a week, but it means a lot that Dan's giving up his time to help me out with this. I know he's trying as hard as he can. He really is. And it's nice to know that you can actually appreciate that he is trying. Can I do this without being seen? <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. That's it, Tommy. You go. What? Dan Penny's big at dinner. This has to stop. Okay, is there anything else around here that I can even look at? Looked at the kitchen, looked there. There's a note on the on the door. Okay. Town list. Go library, out of books again, check community board for babysitters, swing by the wi wild new movie playing, a drop by Dr. Walker, call ahead. Okay. <gasps> What's this? He's drawn that, that picture again before as well. He just like, oh, dad's always working on his book and he's got some sort of bottle next to him. Yeah, Anything around here? Can I look at this? Barb, <laughs> I know I wrote yesterday, but I just, I need your advice. I think Dan's drinking too much. And before you start to worry, let me say he's not an alcoholic. It's just because of the pressure he's under trying to finish the book. But you know Dan's never exactly been a health nut. He isn't gaining weight yet, though even that's just because alcohol kills his appetite. So he's hardly eating at night, which is another problem altogether. I don't think he sees what he's doing to himself, and I don't know how to break through to him about this. Sometimes I just want to say it's not like I have to get drunk to paint, but I know that's not the most mature way to handle it. Sorry for dumping all this on you. I just wanted to get it off my chest. Do you have any advice about how to talk to him? Yours. Um. I don't have a clue. Oh, hi. You should have walked into me and didn't even see me. That's kind of impressive. Um. How to deal with that situation? I don't know. I'm trying to get you now, though. But he promised. He promised. If he doesn't do it, I'll help you, honey. This is this making the cart? Probably, probably. That picture again. Seriously, draw something different. <laughs> oh my god. My head. It's still on my it's still on my shoulders. What is this weird Alan, spot on my shoulder? Hey man, this is gonna sound odd, but I could use some advice. I'm in hot water here because well, I've been drinking more lately. Man, there's just no good way to write. Anything that. I mean, I used to drink and write all the time in school. You remember that, right? I guess I got away from it when we got married and definitely after Tommy came along. But he's in bed by eight thirty every night now. And let me be clear. I'm not blacking out or driving drunk. You know I'd never do something like that. I just have a few drinks while I'm working, safe and sound in the house. 
a writer who drinks isn't exactly unheard of. Wow, could I sound more defensive? <laughs> but here's the hell of it. It's working. It's brought back that college hunger, that energy. And in the last week or two, the book's just singing. I don't even know what I'm asking here. Maybe I just wanted to start the conversation. If you get a chance, give me a call. Dan. I mean, having a few drinks isn't too bad, especially if he's like actually... So if he's actually, um, it's, 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 it sounds really stupid, but if it's actually benefiting him, it's, it's, saying drink benefits someone is a bit stupid in my opinion. But um, can you look at this? Yeah. Right, but, drunk. Edit sober. <laughs> Apparently Hemingway said that, or maybe someone else did. It doesn't matter because it's true. To write, you have to be fearless. You have to make choices and plow forward. Surprise the reader. Surprise yourself. Make something that matters, not something safe. What does drinking do? It suppresses inhibitions. Yeah, there are typos, but that's what copy editors are for, and it, it's not like I'm drinking all day. I'm fixing most of this stuff myself each morning. Or early afternoon, I guess. I'm not stumbling around drunk all day and pissing myself. I'm trying to create something they'll remember me by. No one can imagine how stressful that is unless they've tried it. The pressure's so bad I just want to give up sometimes. On those nights a drink is the only way to turn my mind off and get some sleep. And when the book is done, I'll dial it back. As long as you do, then that's fine. I mean... <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know. But um, I, I, I was going to say something then, but I just lost track of what I was saying then. <laughs> but I say, as long as it's not actually damaging you in any way or the people around you then it's fine right one or two glasses is 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 fine and i i mean Looking good, Tom. As, as long as wow. it's just kind of like more of a tipsiness rather than getting drunk then that's all right put the car together for so much um can i just drop down it's fine drop down drop down Poor Bourbon and work on the apartments scene. <laughs> <laughs> His jogging shoes are right there. He just needs has to make the effort. We can go jogging. It might it it might help it might help help him. Energy, uh, exercise and that always gets the brain working. Um I'm I'm like my my brain just keeps on just going Phew! my my my, my thoughts just keep on going away I was like I keep on going to say something and then they just, they just disappear <laughs> um yeah whatever I was, I was again I was in the middle of saying something but that's obviously just the way that this video is gonna go just like I start something and then just lose I'm not doing it on purpose, I swear. <laughs> I just I just forget what I was saying. Um uh, let's fix his car. It was like as the main one and then secondary we go we go jogging. Yes. Yes. I think that's a good idea. Sort out Tommy, make sure that he's happy. And then go jogging, because I think that would that would help his mind a little bit as well. No note, note there for once. That's a that's a change. Okay. Dire K. Williams again. Uh, I have decided, and I am sure of my decision. Of my decision, I do not know which is right or wrong. Only that my choice is my own. It took three days. Three days alone, letting wh whatever calm influences here for I am sure there is something guide my thoughts I I thought about Jay and talked with Jay in my mind and I know that this is right I cannot think about the path not taken only the one ahead exactly that's a good way of looking at it look at the future not what's ha what happened in the past I struggle with that <laughs> I struggle with that, with that a lot but Always look at look at the bright brighter future, rather than just fixating on the past. 
Anything else around here? No. What is that he's drinking? No, I'm not about well, bourbon. Yes. It's a really small bottle of bourbon. <laughs> um, jug and cheese. I'm not, I'm not choosing the drink. Seriously, there's like there's like a table here and there's nothing on it. This this house is just like so empty. <laughs> there's like really nothing in this house at all. Oh, shoes. Okay, running shoes. There we go. Oh yeah. What you should do tomorrow? Edit this video probably. Um, <laughs> Dan had a moment of clarity when he saw t Tommy's pedal car laying half assembled on the floor and realised that it had been a week since he'd done any work on it. Damn. Uh, he was ashamed that his constant hangover had kept him from making his son happy. So he got to work and finished the pedal car the very next morning. Tommy was overjoyed and he rode it in the yard for hours. Okay, if he's getting hung over every morning and that's drinking way too much and he needs to cut back. You, you, you don't get hangover just from having like one or two glasses, at least. I mean, I don't. So he's obviously drinking way more than just a couple of glasses a night to get hangover. But yeah, it's nice that he, he, fixed, he fixed the car at least. <laughs> Some of Linda's messages finally got through to Dan. He didn't like the idea of jogging, but he agreed to run two days a week. He didn't enjoy it. He didn't enjoy it though. He was out of shape, and sometimes while running, he got so stressed he wasn't writing that he could cut his running short to get back to work. Oh, <laughs> eh, still doing good. Let's drink more exercise. <laughs> Dan put all the alcohol back in the kitchen cabinet and promised to stay dry on work days. But he had a hard time focusing on what he had adjusted to write sober again. He spent a couple of evenings staring at a blank piece of paper and he never told anyone how hard it was not to sneak down to the kitchen for a drink those first few nights. Yeah, that is a bit of a drinking problem then. Okay, I see. <laughs> Hey, so, so, seriously, ex 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 exercising, ex exercising, ugh. exercising really does help the brain um, think. So I, 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 I lack exercise. This is why I can't think throughout this video. <laughs> and I have had quite a bit of drink, to, quite a bit of drink, quite a bit to drink myself recently as well. But um, the road ahead, maybe, probably the road ahead. Um, but yeah, so as always, one week, one video, and Gothic Tech is now playing Elder Scrolls Online. It's because I forced him into it. I told him that he needs to do updates so we can play it together. Well done, Gothic Tech. I know you're doing well. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to Channel you haven't done this already, and I shall see you all in the next video. Achievio. Cheerio. Cheerio. Heh <laughs>